What's up guys? Welcome to This Week in Unreal Engine where I showcase community projects that I think are cool and interesting. Quick disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with any of the projects that I talk about on this show. I just think they're killing it, I'm a fan of their work, and I want to spread the word about what they're doing. I have a really awesome one this week. It's a groundbreaking new city builder plugin that, when released, will be able to create one-to-one -one cities using GPT-4 and real Street View maps, all remaining performant enough to be used in-game. It's actually unreal. City BLD. City BLD comes to you from the team at World BLD Studios, which I'm pretty sure is pronounced World Build. It's a content creation agency specializing in procedural generation. First spotted on Reddit, City BLD is an upcoming plugin for Unreal Engine 5 that markets itself as a complete city creation toolkit, which will allow even beginner developers to create complete one to one cities, which will actually be game ready. Promising to boost your workflow by 100x, CityBLD will rely on procedural generation to cut years off of development time with its simple four-step process. The way it's supposed to work is this. You'll start by generating a street map, then you'll divide that street map into city blocks and then individual plots of land. Finally, you'll specify the building shapes on each lot and modular buildings will be placed based on those building shapes and your selected city kit which is a collection of preset meshes and styles for your city. What got me really excited about this is the future prototype system Reddit user Dogs of Knowledge spoke about in r slash Unreal Engine. When asked if CityBLD would be able to use Google Maps 3D space to generate building accurate cities, Dogs of Knowledge said this. It gets even crazier than that. I'm writing up a white paper at the moment, and in the paper, I go over a prototype system where we get building data from OpenStreetMap, then we use GPT-4 to compare it to a street view image downloaded from those coordinates and output a text-based list of building characteristics that CityBLD can use to assign the correct modular components to the building. If you're signed up for the waitlist, the paper will probably be linked in a future newsletter. This has huge implications in all kinds of markets related to 3D design. Just off the top of my head, areas that I think will be completely upended include architectural visualization, urban planning, uh, cinematic and animation production, VR city experiences, etc, etc, etc. Even something like historical reconstructions. Imagine being able to recreate ancient cities like Rome, Athens, Machu Picchu with this much ease and accuracy. By utilizing historical references and data, developers could leverage CityBLD to reconstruct historical cityscapes in Unreal Engine 5. This would allow users to explore and interact with ancient civilizations, offering an engaging and educational experience that brings history to life in a way that's never been seen before. Some other key takeaways from this, you'll be able to draw any type of road you want in just a few clicks, including curved roads, slopes, which is huge because you can't do that with a lot of other tools, and complex intersections by leveraging Unreal Engine 5's new procedural tools. Also, CityBLD will allow you to convert your entire scene to instance meshes, which will save on memory overhead from blueprints, making it the only city building tool that will allow you to do this at the time of filming this video. It will not generate interiors without modifications to the base blueprint, so that's kind of a bummer, but it's fine. They have no plans to integrate this until after release. CityBLD only supports Unreal Engine 5.1 for now, but 5.2 update is coming soon. If you want to find out more about CityBLD, I encourage you to go to their website at www.worldbld.com where you'll be able to sign up for the waitlist to get in line to try this out. I'll put a link for that in the description below. When asked about pricing by a flood of surprisingly friendly and enthusiastic Redditors, user Dogs of Knowledge said this. To everyone asking about the price, we haven't made a decision on that just yet. We'll probably be in the $100-$200 to $200 range for the beta release and then double when it's a complete, polished toolset. There will be a free, educational, non-commercial only version available too, however. This is obviously not final and this is all subject to change, so go to www.worldbld.com for the most up-to-date information on this project. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to go check out CityBLD and watch their New York City 1-to-1 recreation trailer, it's crazy cool. Also, please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more community showcases like this, as well as Unreal Engine tutorials such as my MetaHuman Animator series. 
and I'll see you next time. Later.